uniform. That's right. Thank you so much, Janice. A favorite time of the year. When I was growing up as a Boy Scout, the Boy Scout Jamboree would take place, and you know it was always a lot of fun. This year, though, is the 100th anniversary of the Boy Scouts of America. Pretty incredible. I'm joined this morning by Richard Weiss, an extreme explorer and a former scout. Nice to see you this morning, Richard. Yeah, thanks very much. So you guys have a lot of Boy Scouts here. are going to take us through some of these uh, different steps, a lot of the different skill sets that Boy Scouts have to learn these days, and especially that they celebrate and play with at the Jamboree, too, right? Well, you know, the whole, whole point now with scouting is learning life skills. I mean, these are some of the fun activities, but for example, the first activity we're doing is fire starting. Not that you'll probably ever have to start a fire without matches, but, but you never know. Well, you never know, but also if you can start a fire without matches, you feel so confident that you could accomplish or figure out anything like in the woods. Like Bear's Grill. All right, so we're down here. We're going to try to start well, a fire as skill number one. And yeah. basically, we're just taking a piece of metal, magnesium, and he's just striking it to get some sparks. We're not going to actually start a fire here. You can also do that with rubbing certain types of wood together, like cedar, right. you can actually get uh, smoke. Now, Richard, do they recommend starting a fire on AstroTurf? Uh, they <laughs> probably could start the AstroTurf itself on fire. <laughs> but so you're finding some uh, some dry wood, and you're getting some also some... Uh, you know, you could take something like lint, even from a dryer in an emergency situation. You know, you have a beautiful silk suit here. We could right. take some threads oh, sure. from the inside <laughs> and start it. Yeah, peel this apart. That'd be good. Uh, Okay, so go ahead. You're going to keep on trying to start this. If you, if well, you, I, don't, I don't know if don't we want to, want to actually. I, I, do you really want them to start it? Well, I don't could, think this, so. This could be fun. This could be an insurance no. issue. No. I, I'm no, seeing a lot of no's it. here. No, I would. Hey, guys, I know you guys like you know, fire. I would love to. Maybe we don't want to burn We're this talking time. about extreme heat lately in the country. And here's actually something that I've done in the field. I've been in canoeing where I've lost every hat, every right. sunglasses, and I'm actually sizzling. And I call this the ninja sun hat. And basically what you're doing is I have my basic Eddie Bauer t-shirt here. You're putting it your head through, tying it off. And so you build a ninja sun hat. And ninja, this is, and this actually is great for the winter. Now, would, it would seem like it would be too warm in there, but it's really protecting your face and everything against the sun. You know, the whole idea of staying cool in the sun is your skin, you know, has the ability to lose heat. If you're compromised by having a sunburn, then you will actually be hotter. So, well, one of the things I love out in the uh, out in the woods is trying to set up a hammock. You've got the tent set up, trying to, try to set up a hammock. Boy Scouts are great at doing this. You guys have hammocks you're going to We have us? my hammock uh, ninjas here. And basically, like the Von Trapps, you take, uh, you know, five yards of fabric. They've tied a knot off of it. They can do a simple lark knot. And what they would do is pull this apart, put it between trees. And I've used actually this at home in Connecticut where I live. Here, pull it apart, guys. You can go that way. And you'd have this between trees. And the whole reason why this is a really nice hammock is it has a deep nest to it. You wouldn't sort of flip over. Nice. I do this at home. I mean, I love this one, and it, you can set it up in about five minutes. So your wife goes, where's, where's my husband? Where's Richard? Oh, he's no, out in the backyard the wife, in the hammock. The wife, the wife loves it. <laughs> All right, next up on the list, uh, we've got proper CPR. This is a really important technique uh, that you know not just Boy Scouts need to know, but a lot of people need to know. You, this is one of the trainings and merit badges, too, in isn't it? In fact, at this year's uh, National Jamboree, it's going to be the largest learning center of CPR ever accomplished. And again, I have uh, two babies at home and a toddler. My wife and I take a refresher course every year. I mean, this is a skill that I don't care who you are, what you're doing, it can come in handy. And if you know it, it could save a life. All right. So go through and if you guys want to show me some of this. We're going to be out here all morning long. And if you guys want to show me some of the techniques for it, uh, we're going to be out here all morning long with the Boy Scouts of America celebrating 100 years of the Boy Scouts of America with all of these great tips. So we're going to be showing some tents a little bit later. Richard, thank you. Thank you very much. And I'm going to be working on my fire skills, guys, out here. Hopefully we don't need this AstroTurf anytime soon. Yeah, thank goodness the Boy Scouts stopped you from lighting the show on fire, well, which is what you were tempted to do. I was thank trying you. To add a little smoke.